Hi, boys and girls, it's Miss Garcia. So I came to the school today to pick up some more materials, some more books, and some other things that I'm gonna take home because I'm gonna record a different video for you guys. And while I was here, I felt like reading a book. And then I thought, well, you know what, I'm gonna record it. Um, I'm gonna record a book really quickly because this room made me think of y'all and I miss you guys so much. So today, um, we're gonna do a little story time again <laughs> in a different place, not in my house. We're actually at school. Um, today we're reading the book called Caps for Sale. One of my favorite, favorite books. Okay, so this is called the front of the book. This is called the, you know it, say it, the back of the book. And this is called the, say it, the spine. All right, here we go. Let's see what the words say. Look at the picture. Mm, let's see what the words say. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like any ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on the top of his head. First, he had his own checkered cap. Then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown ones, and then a bunch of blue caps. And on the very top were the red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight as to not upset his caps. As he went along, he called caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Ooh, look at the picture. I wonder what the words say. <coughs> One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, said he. And he walked out of town, slowly, slowly, so not to upset his caps. So he doesn't want any of the caps to fall, so he's walking very slowly. Oh, look at this picture. I wonder where he's at. Let's see what the words say. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he. He sat down very, very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel if they were straight. First, his own checkered cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. They were all there. So he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. I wonder what's gonna happen. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. <gasps> what is missing on his head? Do you know? But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. As he felt was his own checkered cap. Okay, you can see the checkered cap. Uh-oh, what do you think is going to happen next? He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked back of him, no caps. He looked behind the tree, no caps. I wonder what happened to his caps. Let's keep on reading. Then he looked up into the tree. And what do you think he saw? What do you think he's gonna see in the tree? Hmm, I wonder. What are those? Monkey. 
Nikes. And what do they have on? All oh, the caps. Let's see what the words say. On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cap. Those monkeys took his cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. What do you think he's gonna tell the monkeys? I wonder. Oh, let's see what the words say. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking his finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, tis, tis, tis. Oh, look at the peddler. How does he look? Did the monkeys give him back the caps? Hmm, let's see what the words say. This made the peddler angry. He shook both his hands at them and said, you monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both of their hands back at him and said, tis, tis, tis. Ooh, were the monkeys giving him back the caps? Hmm. Now he felt quite angry. Oh, look at the peddler. Oh, just I wonder, he looks kind of angry, right? He stopped his foot and he said, you monkeys, you, you better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stomped their feet back at him. Tis, tis, tis. Ooh, look at the peddler. Does he look happy? Mm -mm. By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stomped both his feet and shouted, you monkeys, you, you must give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stomped both of their feet back at him and said, what do you think they're gonna say? Tis, tis, tis. At last, ooh. He became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. But then, what are the monkeys doing? Each monkey pulled off his cap. What are the caps doing? So what did the monkeys do? Let's read the words. And all the gray caps and all the brown caps and all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So what did the monkeys do? They ended up taking off their caps. Hmm. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checkered cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, and then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very, very top. He's got all his caps on. And slowly, slowly, he walked back down calling, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. The end. Well, boys and girls, that wraps up our story time. Um, I hope you enjoyed this book. I'm going to finish picking up my materials and then I'm going to go home, wash my hands and make sh and make some more videos for you guys. Um, I'm working on something really special for y'all. Uh, it won't be a story. It'll be a little bit different. So um, I will definitely let your parents know when that video is posted. But I'll see y'all tomorrow with a different book, okay? Have a good day. Bye.